Hello my beautiful Virgos. This is take two. My first introduction got interrupted by a phone call. Of course. Anyhow, welcome to your solar eclipse tarot reading. The solar eclipse is occurring on April 30th in the sign of Taurus. Hello. Okay. So, Taurus is ruled by Venus. That is matters of the heart. It is in ruling over your your relationships okay that's where it will affect people most so you do want to take a look at where Taurus lies in your chart okay that'll give you an indication on where this eclipse may affect you and the severity okay now um, like for instance if it's in your um, your 10th house of career, your social standing, your reputation and stuff, that would be indicating a, your career is something that you love or something in that house that, that you find value in. The natural ruler of Taurus is the second house. Again, possessions, things of value, your money, you know, so that's just to give you a little bit of a baseline of what we're looking at so what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in and we will start with the major arcanas now the reason why oh by the way we also have a lunar eclipse two weeks after the solar eclipse so this is going to be a very intense time and solar eclipses bring drastic change okay you big changes in your life for good or for bad but even something that's less desirable can be made more positive on how, depending on how we perceive it and how we react okay um, it's like or how we act towards it um, it's like acting but not reacting if you get what I'm saying like if something pisses you off don't react to that in a similar manner okay so just saying I guess spirits really talking to you um, Virgo here uh, for some of you Virgos I feel that you need to keep your tempers in check just saying uh, the solar eclipse quite often brings down the tower the eclipse could clip, eclipse things into your life or eclipse things out but I like to look at the Eclipse as a combination of the Tower card and the Wheel of Fortune. You know, it's a sudden shock factor. Maybe you didn't see it coming. Bam, done. There is the universe enforcing change, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use the White Witch Tarot. There's a deck of Major Arcana cards only. I'm fanning them out. And... I am going to use my pendulum to pick your two dominant cards. Okay. Okay, you're tell, um, telling me to pick up this one this time. I have two pendulums here. And this one's saying it's my turn. I've been using the other one for a couple of readings. It says this is my turn, my turn, my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Show me the first card for t for my Virgos, please. First card for Virgos. Oh, you're really strong on that one. Okay. Yep. It's shaking its head yes. That's a yes. Yes, and that's a big yes. Definitely wanted that card. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, you can stop swinging. Okay, let's continue on for the second card. Okay, really strong on that one. This one? Okay, it wants this one for you guys. We got our cards. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this deck up here. And let's see what we got. See what kind of energies uh, we are working with here. Your, your nature arcana are things that use changes and shifts and phases that we go through that typically are out of our control. Okay. You've got the high priestess, honey. Don't ignore that intuition. Do not ignore your intuition. Your intuition is not going to steer you down the wrong path. I feel like you're being drawn in a certain direction. Certain changes. And I'm hearing adaptation. Certain adaptation. Certain that you need to incorporate. So there is a major change coming, Virgo. But it's how you adapt to it. How you accept it. How you... Um, I hate to use the word react. Because sometimes it brings negative consequences. But how you accept it and and how you handle it okay then we have fuck man the wheel of fortune <laughs> i just got done talking about the wheel of fortune this is destiny whatever change is going to be happening or whatever's happening to you around the eclipse is destiny it's fate plain and simple this is confirmation that you're going through a major change. That you're going to have to adapt to. And the way that you adapt to it, the way that you perceive it, the way you, I'll use it, react to it. Trust your intuition. Trust your guidance. I almost sense a fork in the road. A decision you have to make that's very important to you. Honey. Your intuition's on par. It's spot on. Okay? So, we're going to get, typically it would be past, present, future, but it's going to be um, from now until, it's going to be pre-eclipse, time of the eclipse, post-eclipse. Just so that you're aware. Because past, you know, some of the shit that's coming up, leading up to the 30th, this week, this coming weekend. You know, there, it's possible to show something that you haven't experienced yet. And you'll be like, wait a second, Mr. Jen. Um, no, that hasn't happened. A, a lot of other things are lining up, but that hasn't happened. Well, that's because we still have a few days left until the eclipse. So, for somebody I felt like I needed to say that too. Okay? Okay, now let's get on with it. Okay, show me Virgo, please. Show me Virgo pre-eclipse. Okay. You saw it, just like I did. Bam, down on, the, on it. And it is the Nine of Cups. Okay. The Nine of Cups can be perceived as the wish card, the wish fulfillment card. It, sometimes it can also be a, putting up an emotional block or getting to a certain place, a certain milestone in your, um, either in your, your spirituality or in your, your emotional self, your emotionality, or getting, or sometimes it could be overindulgence. We will see. Not enough information yet. I'm feeling a very strong intuition. Your intuition building. Okay. There's definitely a change. Show, what else please? What else please for, the, for Virgo? Pre-eclipse energy. Show me. Pre-eclipse energy. Not a half-ass flip. Come on. Show me pre-eclipse energy. Show me pre-eclipse energy. Okay, they're telling me to take this card, so I will. So this is judgment. What did I fucking say when I started this reading? There's some kind of decision that you have to make. 
You have to trust your intuition. Use your better judgment. The judgment is a final decision. Whatever it is, is final. And this is also a card of karma. You reap what you sow. So be careful about the energy that you put out there. Make it positive. Make it positive towards others. Because whatever you put out there is going to come right back on you threefold. Okay, honey? That's why I say be very careful and mindful of the energy. Be mindful of the energy that you put, you display towards other people. Okay? Okay, and one more card, please. One more card. I need one more card. Not 20 cards. One more card. One more card. Okay, they're telling me to turn them over this time. Okay. Queen of Pentacles energy. There you are. So, this is definitely looking like you have to use your practicality. You have to be very patient. The Queen of Pentacles knows her worth and her value. She's very nurturing, very practical, very grounded. Okay? She thinks very clearly. Very confident, well balanced. Okay? That's her energy. And I feel like that that is your energy, Virgo. Uh, gender, not gender specific. I'm just reading the energy. And she's looking at this judgment and waiting before she makes a decision. And I feel like that that is the energy that you need to be in. Or this, this is where you are at this week. Okay? I feel you already know what's going on. You're already experiencing this. And you know that some of you might be facing some kind of judgment. Just saying. That's why I say be careful about the energy that you put out there. Be careful about the company that you keep. That's for somebody. Be careful about the company that you keep. I feel as though you hear the call. A calling. You may even be dealing with a fellow, another earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Or somebody with that in their chart. Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, Jupiter, Mars. Whatever, whatever the fuck. Okay? Um, I'm getting the image of somebody calling on you. And this is something that you've been hoping for. And that's what's going on in the pre-eclipse energy. We will dig a little bit deeper into that. Okay, in the, in the current, the current is the actual April 30th. The day, the day before, day after, you know, that, that weekend, okay? Okay, you do have the King of Swords energy. Just saying, the King of Swords is very clear thinking. They're making their decisions. So, I, again, I get the, yet the, we do have, now this deck does have a male version and a female version of the King. And also has a male and female version of the Emperor. Okay, just so you know, this is not a gender specific reading. But this is the female version who is a little bit softer. They're not just trusting her wit, but trusting her intuition as well. And that's, again, we're getting this emphasis on intuition. You know, the high priestess, trusting your intuition, intuition. Okay. Uh, here you are contemplating and thinking about things. The Queen of Pentacles is not actually taking action here. But over here with this, the feminine side of the King of Swords here. This is somebody who is ready to take that action after a lot of consideration. But also, not, you know, mind being connected to the universe. Crown chakra, they're showing me. You know, you need to trust it. And we have the Six of Swords. There seems to be some kind of positive movement forward. Maybe towards healing or seeing some clarity in the direction that you are going to go. There could be a move, a physical move. Uh, change of address. This could also be involving travel as far as vehicles. Just saying. It could go a number of ways. We will find out when I break it down. Okay. Okay, one more card for the current, please. Current being the eclipse weekend. Eclipse weekend. Show me. Show me Virgo here. 
Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo. Okay, there is the Five of Pentacles. Yep, we all experience this at some point in time. There's a fear of abandonment here. I just got to call it like I see it. Definite fear of abandonment. Okay? There might be some issues with finances. You might be moving... Some of you might actually be moving into a financial storm. I'm just saying, due to some bad judgments, that's for somebody, that's not for everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, feel free to switch it, reverse or whatever. This is for the collective Virgos. So some of this may resonate, not all of it, maybe none of it, okay? Um, honey, you got to learn to <sighs> trust and intuition. I... Your desire, a certain witch, a certain desire is overriding your common sense. Um, two of Swords energy. But you're not seeing it. This is post-eclipse. That is back to that decision making. That is sitting on the fence, ignoring the signs, ignoring the warning signs. Virgo, you need to... And I say this with total love. You know, it may sound like a lecture. It may sound harsh. But it's because I want you to succeed. I want you to move forward in life. I want you to be happy, successful, okay, in all areas of life. This is not showing that at all. This is showing stubbornness. This is showing, I see the signs, but I don't care. Uh, I'm, I, I know what I want. I don't give a rat's ass about the consequences. And this is having consequences over it, okay. Nine of Wands. Ah, oh, Virgo. I'm being drawn to the thorns on this rose. They're pretty small. I doubt it if the camera will pick them up. But I'll hold them up anyhow. And also the Stitch marks on a shirt. This, the, if you remember, think back to cartoons. When it shows somebody getting a bruise or something. It shows, you know, in cartoons. The, the, the markings like that. To indicate injuries. Um, wanting this desire, this wish... Wanting something so badly that you ignore the warning signs, that you ignore your intuition, you ignore advice that anybody gives you. It's going to wear you down, especially if you don't recognize the warning signs. Okay? You can avoid all this. Right now is the time to stop and think, what the fuck am I doing? I'm sabotaging myself. I'm sacrificing myself for what? Okay. Um, if it's for your kids, I can understand that. If it's for a spouse, maybe. Would they do the same for you? Um, I know this sounds harsh. But I'm picking up on a specific Virgo. Okay. And we do have the chariot. Cancerian energy. That is trying to move forward past a dilemma. Okay? That is movement. That is success. That is to having some sense of control. And you're tired. And I get this sense, this image of being tired of not being in control of things. Got the Five of Cups energy here. With the, you, got, you got Five of Pentacles. You got Five of Cups. Okay? Got Ace of Swords. This is about seeing your truth and facing your truth. Even if it means an emotional loss. But then emotional loss, you, you emerge out as the Empress. Okay. Um, there are some... It's like choosing your battles wisely. There are some situations that there is a sacrifice. 
There is a sense of emotional loss. However, things that are meant for us will not pass us by. I love that saying. Okay? And if this wish was meant for you, it will be yours. Don't do shit to sabotage that. If this wish is not in your best interest, the universe is going to let you know that it's, that it's not going to allow it to come together. Okay? Or if it does come together, there's going to be the thorns, there's going to be the injuries, there's going to be the very difficult times here. But your overall current energy is riding out of the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you have an opportunity here for a new start. But it does require an emotional loss to let go of something that was that is not vibing with us emotionally. And there is a fine line with, between obsession and love. Okay? So, I see so much potential here, Virgo. But I also see, <clears throat> excuse me, you getting in your own way, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and break this down and see where this is going here. Okay. This one, okay. Show me Virgo's baseline here. You definitely have a lot of drive, Virgo. I give you that. Even when you're tired, you keep pushing on. Okay. Show me the Nine of Cups, please, for Virgo. Show me the Nine of Cups, thank you. Eight of Cups. Need I say more about this card? The Eight of Cups is walking away from it, abandoning it, whether it's permanent or temporary. Okay? This is not your Nine of Cups. You're seeking your Nine of Cups. But. Okay, for some of, you, some of the Virgos out there, I'm picking up on an energy of you got something that you wanted, but you want more. There seems to be an energy of not having enough. There's this energy of be careful what you wish for because once you get it, maybe something that you don't really want. What else here? What else here? Tell me more. Tell me more. So why is Virgo supposed, why is walking away from something here? Is this walking away or is this returning? Okay, so some of you are abandoned a plan in order to chase your Nine of Cups. Thank you. Seven of Swords. Six of Wands. You intuitively know <clears throat> that something is not right here. <clears throat> okay? What I'm feeling is you walked away from something that you thought was your eight, Nine of Cups. And you, you walked away Intuitively, you knew that that was judgment, the right decision. However, 
with You have doubts that you will find what you're looking for elsewhere. Okay? For some of you. Some of you, <clears throat> the Eight of Cups means that you walked away from something in order to find your Nine of Cups. And when you got to your Nine of Cups, you're having doubts about that Nine of Cups. Is that really what I want? That your intuition kicking in. That your intuition kicking the fuck in. Okay? You want that sense of balance. You want that harmony. You want to succeed. You want that success. Whether this, now this could be relating to your work. This could be relating to your personal life. Most likely it's your personal life. It's something that you value because of that Venus energy from Taurus, this, that solar eclipse in Taurus. So there is something that you really valued that you wanted. You abandoned a plan. You abandoned a plan. And in order to chase your wish fulfillment, your Nine of Cups. But intuitively, you're having those doubts with the Seven of Swords. You left something behind. That something that you left behind it will be different for everybody. I don't know what you left behind. I don't know what you walked away from for that ninth cup that you thought was your ninth cup. But you definitely have doubts about it. You're not so sure that this is where your victory lies. I'm telling you my cards are on it. That's why they keep, they are expressing, emphasizing, trusting your intuition. Okay, tell me about judgment card. What is this, what is this judgment call here? I feel like it's um, making a choice, a decision, a, ju a judgment call. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is somebody who is on the defense. So, when somebody calls you on it, because in this card, we do have this horn. Okay? There's a call. When somebody calls you on this, You get very defensive about it, okay? You get extremely defensive. Because with that, it is knighting the Two of Swords. It's like, I don't want to hear it. No, I don't want to hear it. You get stuck in the stubborn energy. This is what I want. This is what I'm going after. I don't care about the consequences. I don't care what, you, what the fuck you say. I'm doing whatever the fuck I want to do. Okay? I'm doing what I feel is right for me. Even though your intuition is screaming at you. Okay? That's a seven of that's a seven of wands. What else? What else? No, I'm not taking those. Too many. Too many in that group. You know better. Come on, work with me. Okay. Hereford. I knew it. This is a relationship. We got the Queen of Pentacles here. This could be your energy. This could be somebody else's energy. A relationship. The Hereford. You'll defend that relationship till the ends of the earth. No matter what. Even though. Even though your intuition screaming at you about this choice. You know, I started it out that there, you know, when I was looking at this all, I felt that there was a bad judgment call, a bad decision made, that you are in the current. This is really the current. This is, Both of these lines are future because this is the, um, around the eclipse. Where you're at right now, you're being called start over again but you're choosing to return to your nine what you thought is your nine was thinking is your nine of cups which is a relationship it's a higher level of commitment you are at minimum living together at minimum 
Some of you are engaged. Some of you are married. Okay? But something, at some point, you walked away from that commitment. You left that commitment. And then you kind of returned back. You... You, were, you may have been forced to walk away, but you kept on searching for the happiness, that ninth cup, okay? It's like the drug addict searching for its next fix, okay? I, I don't know why, but it's almost like an addiction I, I, or something. I, I'm having trouble deciphering that energy, to be honest with you. But it's like the drug addict that has to have their next fix, even though they know it's not healthy for them, it's not good for them. It's tearing them down. Nine of Wands, it's tearing them down physically, emotionally, mentally. And that is what is coming up ahead after this eclipse. If you don't pay attention to your intuition, if you don't pay attention to the red flags, you can have a wipeout after this eclipse. This eclipse can wipe you out. I'm not saying physically, but I'm saying every, different aspects, everything across the board in your life, gone. Okay? Your future, gone. And not that it's not recoverable, that you can't recover from it, but it'll be a very long haul, very long road to recover. Okay? You've got things going for you, Virgo. Don't fuck it up. But you're consciously making a choice to defend a relationship. Okay? But your intuition screaming at you. You still have your doubts if this is the right relationship. If, that you, if you should stay with this person. You're having your doubts. Your intuition screaming at you. It's almost a good title. Your, in, in, your intuition is screaming at you. Because it is. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please. What is the Queen of Pentacles? What's the Queen of Pentacles? What's the Queen of Pentacles? Show me Queen of Pentacles. Show me Queen of Pentacles. Show me Queen of Pentacles. Show me the cards I need to see, please. Show me the cards I need to see. You're not doing it. Come on. Show me the cards I need to see. Come on. Show me the cards I need to see. Don't fuck with me. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Seriously? You could be dealing with a mother figure. Mother of your children, or you are the mother of the children. Go either way. Okay? Sitting into that nurturing role. Wanting to take care of the family. That's admirable. Very. That is a very admirable trait, Virgo. That you want to take a, you want to take responsibility. You have a sense of responsibility and obligation. Here to this connection and to this family. But your doubt but your intuition saying, I'm not sure that this is right. Something doesn't feel right. And you know that. You know that something doesn't feel right. That's your intuition. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. What else? Wheel of Fortune. There's a change. Change in direction. The universe is... The, the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment. Come on now. Your intuition screaming at you. There's a change about you. You got the Wheel of Fortune twice. You're fighting your destiny. You're fighting what the universe wants for you. Just saying. Come on, Virgo. Come on, come on. Where's the sensible Virgo? I think common sense went right out the window. Seriously. I don't, and I'm sorry. I don't, I'm not trying to say that to sound harsh. But looking at these cards, 
you're making all the wrong fucking moves. You're going against what, what all the advice that you've been given. You're going against what you, your, your intuition is telling you. Your own fucking intuition is telling you, Stop! Virgo. Okay. Hmm. So this is kind of where you're going in in the next few days. You may have already experienced some of this, or you might be in the middle of it, depending on where you are on your timeline, before the eclipse. Okay? Now, during the eclipse, this is interesting energy. We have the King of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. The Six of Swords is trying to find some peace and harmony and balance in your mental space, in your head space. It's not your heart space, it's your head space. Um, I definitely get the sense of your mind being all over the place. Racing thoughts. A lack of clarity. Um, you're looking, you're riding a black cloud and searching for where to put your anchor down. There is a, there's, you're looking for a sense of security. The King of Swords here is very much in their head, but there's some heart space in here also, because this is the feminine side, the Venus side, the emotional side of the King of Swords, the side that the King of Swords usually buries deep within. The other King of Swords is cold as shit, cold as ice. This one is not. This is a little bit more warming, a little bit more welcoming. Not astringent. But this kind of King of Swords basis is very, they're very decisive in their decision making. They analyze things just like the other King of Swords. But this one in particular makes a decision based on the on their emotionality, their emotional space, not logic. There is no logic in where you're going. Okay? And there's a Five of Pentacles being a sense of loss, financial loss, um, <clears throat> physical loss. It could be a loss of your home. It's a loss of things that you value. With his Five of Pentacles. And, but the thing, the sad thing is, it's an unnecessary loss. Okay? Because it's all based on the choices and decisions that you're making. So this eclipse is going to say, okay, Virgo. We played it your way for a while and look at where it's getting you. We're stepping in and whatever havoc we reap on you, we whatever hab havoc we reap on you, so be it. Whatever it's going to take to tear you down to the ground, I'm getting that tower energy even though the tower is not on the board anywhere. I'm getting that tower energy because the tower energy is in my, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's encompassed in this eclipse. Don't need the tower card to be on the table. Okay? doesn't have to be there. It's already there with the energy of the eclipse. So they're bringing in the tower. For some people, the tower energy is an epiphany, an awakening. A breaking free. Other people, it is tearing shit down to the ground and destroying. Note that the universe will not destroy that which is good. That which is good for us, it's not going to destroy. Remember that. Okay. Tell me about this King of Swords energy. Four of Swords. Let me think about this. I don't want to fight. I just want this to be over. I want this battle to be over. Hence the Six of Swords here. Four of Swords 
to the king of swords that's what the king is, is thinking that's what's driving that is somebody who's not taking logical action that is somebody who is not acting in the manner that they should be the king of swords this king of swords is very stuck in their head but at the same time their heart space is driving everything and this king of swords is having difficulty making a decision okay let me sleep on it another day i'm going to go ahead about my business interacting with this person engaging in this relationship I'll consider what you're saying when people give you advice I'll take that into consideration I'll take it into consideration but you don't do anything about it that's why the universe is coming in five of wands that is strife that is conflict, that is arguing, that is a battle. Complications. Okay. I feel that with the four of swords to the with the five of wands is also talking about ignoring the complications, ignoring the differences. Ignoring the struggles, not acknowledging it, sleeping on it, not doing any, not doing a damn thing about it. Even though your intuition is saying you need to walk away from this and wipe your hands of this situation altogether, we did see the appearance of the Five of Cups somewhere. I forget where. Might have been when I was shuffling under the deck or something I don't know but I did show you the five of cups and I did say there is an emotional loss attached to it yes a lot of changes when we have to let something go there's always especially something that isn't ha that you have an emotional attachment to if we have an emotional attachment to something it is very difficult there is we feel that emptiness we feel that loss but it is a five. It's an emotional difficulty, emotional struggle. But everything I see here is you being in your own way, you getting in your own way, making bad decisions, choices, bad judgment calls. It's almost like I want to say that they say, don't engage, wait it out, don't act, don't react, and don't act. Don't engage in this connection. There's trouble. Okay? Trouble that you are trying to escape and move away from. But that trouble is kind of like following you. Because you can't leave something alone. That what you thought was your nine, nine of cups. You can't leave that alone. You can't let it go. Even though your intuition is telling you, this is not right. This doesn't feel right. You need to go. You need to go. You need to go. You need to step back. You need to take a step back from this. Your intuition is telling you that. So you're running into yet more obstacles. Okay? Over this. More trouble. Okay, we have the King of Wands to the Six of Swords. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So who's in the driver's seat of this? Who's the influence? Okay, uh, we have somebody in a place of authority, somebody who's very passionate and has a vision. This is somebody with drive. This could be, you could be taking on this energy, Virgo, but I feel it's somebody else. I'm definitely feeling a place of authority. Somebody laying down their law. Somebody saying, okay, this is what this is. This is what's happening now. I'm feeling like some sort of, I'm definitely feeling consequences. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more here. Three of 
Three of Wands. Somebody has a plan. Somebody has a plan and they're acting on it and they're moving forward with it. Okay. Um, Page of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. You know, it's all in the name of love. And, and family here. Something long time established. Trying to do a balancing act to keep everything together. Even though mentally conflicted over that because your intuition saying fucking stop there's something wrong okay mm. okay so we are going to be switching decks here okay which one which one what one okay okay this one's different Okay. Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo. Something is about to change, Virgo. This eclipse is clip eclipsing something out of your life because you were unwilling to go along with the plan and trust your and follow your intuition. But when it's eclipsed out, it's done in a way that really makes you uncomfortable. When it would have been easier if you would have followed your intuition to begin with. And if this nine of cups was meant for you, it will eventually come back around. I am hearing, you know, Wheel of Fortune. I'm almost, I'm seeing a clock. I'm seeing like the timing was, is not right. The timing was not right for you to come back together. Or your timing was not right for that Nine of Cups. Okay? Timing was not right. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles here. There's a lack of something. And I'm feeling like a lack of, a lack of freedom. And freedom could be mean different things to different people. Three of Swords. A ruler. The Emperor. And you got the Ace of Pentacles again. You got the strong Aries in this reading. I gotta be honest, strong Aries. And strong Earth. <coughs> you're in pain, I know it. I know you're in pain. You're suffering right now. But you're feeling at a loss. You're missing that Nine of Cups. Yeah, I'm referring that to the Nine of Cups because that Nine of Cups is going to be different for everybody. Okay? You know what your Nine of Cups is. You know what your wish is. You know what you want. Okay? You're missing it. You're heartbroken over it. You were left out in the cold, alone. Maybe against your own will. I almost feel like you were forced out. I mean, it could have been a boss come to you and say, I'm sorry, we're done. you're done, we're letting you go. Whatever the scenario is. It could be a significant other says, oh, I can't do this anymore. You got to go. I'm not sure what everybody's situation is going to be different. But this situation was meant to clear the way for another opportunity. You got the Ace of Pentacles twice. And, oh, thank you. They're showing me two options. One is old and one is new. Two options. One of the options is not healthy or good for you. But there's another option that I wanted to present itself to you. 
but it can't. Not at this time. Or if it does, that might be that judgment call of, I'm going this way. My intuition says go that way, but I'm going this way. I want to go this way, even though I know I have to go this way, and my intuition says go this way. That's what this is, these two options. That is that crossroads. That is that the judgment call. That is that decision. Keep going with this deck. Okay. Um, then we move into what's happening after the eclipse. I know one thing. If you don't start making the right decisions and do it now, and I mean now, you're headed for disaster. Okay? I'm just saying. You're headed for disaster if you don't make the right decision right now. And, it's, and it cannot be, this is like critical, it cannot be an emotional. You have to use your logic. You have to use your noodle and your intuition. Okay, moving forward with the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords, please. In the post. Okay. We have the um, we have chariot energy and four of cups energy. Ca more cancerian energy. Cancer is very strong in this reading as well. Okay. This is objecting, objecting, rejecting an offer coming towards you. You're rejecting something that it, the universe is sending your way. Okay, because with this two of swords here, we have these two birds talking with each other. And the person is ob oblivious of it. The person is, it, this is being really blinded to the truth. There's people talking, trying to tell you, trying to get you, trying to tell you, hey, Virgo, what the fuck are you doing? They're trying to get your attention. But totally ignoring it. Totally ignoring something that the universe has for you. That would bring you success. Will bring you something better. Something greater. Something that has true potential. It's going to pass you by. Because you're not looking at it. You're, you're not acknowledging it. it. You are running from it. And you're saying, no, I don't want that. I want this. This is comfortable. Bingo! Just nailed it. Because as toxic as this other situation may be, the toxicity is comfortable. You don't know what it's like to be in a healthy relationship. So, some of you don't. Some of you do. Some of you might say, well, this relationship was great in the beginning. Perfect harmony. We got along. But somewhere along the line, and it's not going to show in this particular reading, but somewhere along the line, something went south. Okay? And because it was once great. You keep striving for that same nine of cups. That is faulty. Ignoring the reasons why the relationship went south to begin with. Ignoring the red flags. Ignoring your intuition. You'd rather be in trouble, rather be struggling, rather be arguing and miserable than to step outside your comfort zone and try something new. Because you definitely have something new. Now, moving forward though, towards the end of this, I feel like this is more towards, I feel like this is after, and this is more like three months, six months afterwards. I'm seeing this as kind of like a timeline. Even this is a timeline. Every square is a certain block of time. I do feel that eventually you're going to get to the place, you know, when that tower happens, 
You're going to feel like giving up with this Nine of Swords. You're going to feel the pain. And it's going to be... It's going to... It, it, it's self-inflicted. Because we ignored our intuition. I know this sounds like a harsh reading, but Spirit is really, really trying to get your attention on something. Trying to fucking warn you and tell you it's not right now. The date and time of this reading. This is April 26th, I think. And I don't even know where my phone is. Well, it's Monday. Okay? I think it's the 26th. This is self-inflicted. But as a date of this reading, is this the 20, 26th? Or is this the 25th? 25th? No, this is the 25th. As of the date of this reading, you still have time. You have the rest of this week to, to back out. To abandon ship. To step away. At least for now. Because I keep hearing the timing is not right. The timing is not right. The timing is not right. You have to wait for the right timing. So you're bringing some hardships on yourself. And I'm telling you. It's going to wear you down. But I still see you persevering. Okay. At least... Getting through it. You're going to have to work. It's going to take a lot of work to get through it. Okay, tell me about this Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Let's see what we have. Got the Two of Swords energy again. Another repeat card. Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Bingo. You're going to be financially stressed. Physically stressed, mentally stressed, okay? But again, with that Two of Swords, is that enough to take off the blindfold? Strength. This card says it is. Having that inner strength and willpower to take off the blindfold, to see the truth of your situation, to see the truth of where things are going, to be realistic and logical and understanding that okay I made I fucked up I made some bad choices some bad decisions okay I need to fix this now but this strength card needs to be back here that's what's bothering me everything back here is like you're making one bad move after another after another and it's going to snowball okay and when that eclipse hits, it's going it's going to be big time tower. Okay? But this is having the strength to get through the problems. There is definitely financial restraints. There's a sense of loss. Feeling alone. I don't know what that is. I'll be honest with you. They're showing me the energies. Because this is a general collective reading for Virgo. And what that means is it's apply, it, applicable generally. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading. So that energy is going to be different for everybody. Whatever that device is. Okay. But we do have the chariot here. The chariot is success. It is moving forward. We had the chariot back here. So this is telling me you might get a second shot at whatever it was here that you are rejecting. Maybe you're, maybe you're going to get a second look at it and a second chance, especially with the overall energy of this Ace of Pentacles. Let's just put this over here. So there's still a new opportunity, and I feel it's going to present itself again because I got the Chariot again. Okay, tell me about this chariot. Tell me about this chariot. Cancer season seems to be very, and I'm hearing that you're not dealing with the cancer, it's cancer season. Cancer season is um, late June to late July. 
okay? Are you dealing with somebody in jail? I'm just asking. Or somebody that could be facing jail or imprisonment? Um, I actually got the Nine of Wands a second time. The energy of this Nine of Wands is different. The first thing I saw were the bars. Okay, but this guy is holding the Ace of Wands, okay, in his hand. A new new inspiration, a new idea. Um, could be your get out of jail free card. Because we also have justice here. Now you see why I thought I asked, is somebody in jail? Or facing jail or imprisonment? And look what we have here. Ace of Wands. So. Now jail and imprisonment. Can be two different things. It can mean something different to everybody. It could be karma. Coming in. Giving you added push. Giving you a new opportunity. To break free of old habits and cycles. But somebody specifically is facing jail time. I gotta be honest. This could be somebody that you know. This could be the person you were dealing with. If this is not a significant other, it could be a child. Or a parent. A brother. A sister. A friend. You know what the situation is. It's going to be different for everybody. Some sort of family member? I don't know. But there's definitely there's legal trouble here. As a result of actions being taken. But I'm feeling more like this is your energy, Virgo. Be careful. Be very careful. I almost feel like being accused of something you didn't do. For some of you. That's so why you got to be careful about who you are interacting with. You know, there's a reason why your intuition is screaming at you. No. 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 There's a reason. Because it's going to cause some legal issues. i got to be frank. You know, that chariot could be a police cruiser escorting you somewhere I don't know and that I know that's not going to resonate with everybody but it resonates with somebody now for the other others of you that's not have that it has absolutely nothing to do with legal issues just a toxic relationship this nine of wands is representing a of being very tired of the fight. Wanting balance. Hoping for success to move. Be able to put some kind of hardship behind. To find a sense of balance. You know, making the decision that I... It, there's a decision about something that is very burdensome. Something that's got you tired. A choice, a decision. That could involve following a passion, a new start. So I am still seeing potential here. But it starts before the eclipse. I, I can't say this enough. This is very, very critical. Before the eclipse, you know, and maybe even the early part of eclipse weekend. You've got to change now. Because it might be too late after. Or it will be more difficult to turn it around after the eclipse. 
Okay. We're going to take a look at this Ace of Pentacles. You've got Ace of Wands. You've got the Ace of Pentacles twice. You've got the Ace of Wands. That is Divine Guidance, 111. Okay. Um, who else got 111? It might have been Taurus. I'm not sure. Being divinely guided, but again, Taurus is being stubborn as well. You know, it's like the universe is trying so hard to get your fucking attention. Trying to help you avoid disaster. Okay? Help, trying to, but the universe is saying, we're only going to do so much. There's an open door here. You've got options and opportunities. You're going to fucking blow it by submitting to your ego and ignoring your int intuition. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. I can't make this shit up. That is representing true wish fulfillment. That is so much calmer. So balanced. Even mental exchanges. That brings happiness and joy. You may not be able to see it yet. But. It's not going to come to pass if you can't make the right decisions. Or. It's going to be a lot harder to obtain. A lot, the univ a lot harder. The universe is going to really make you work hard to get to this level. And it's being offered to you. But you've got to make the right decisions. Judgment underneath the deck. What did I just fucking say? Making the right decision. A good judgment call. Chabang! Told ya. Death. Something has to fucking end. Nine of Pentacles in order for you to stay on your own two feet. Become independent. Become single. Otherwise, there's a fucking tower. The tower's gonna fall. Wipe out. So, even though this is not the most pleasant of readings... The universe is giving you an opportunity. You have an out. Right now you have an out. Later you will not. Okay. Um, let's see if we could get some timing. No. I like this deck for timing for whatever reason. Probably because the images do not are not as distracting. This is a pip deck. Like for instance... <clears throat> The Seven of Wands is just wands. There's no real pictures, pictures. I think that's why I like this deck for timing. I've already said that I got very strong Cancerian energy. For some of you, some of this is going to play out. Or like this after effect, this after rough. This shit is going to be Cancer season. Okay. And we already went over that. Okay. We want some general timing here, please, when this could possibly play out for, for Virgo. Um... Okay, some timing, please, for Virgo. For some of you, it's going to be three weeks. Others of you, let me see here. Three to five weeks. Um, the 
23rd of the month. I think Leo had something about the 23rd of a month. May 23rd, possibly. Because I also get a 5. Like 5.23. 5.23 for some is going to be very significant. Um, this is... Co this is... Some, for some people, it's going to be five days. Okay, I'm getting like a couple different time frames. It's going to be different for everybody because everybody's on a timeline differently. Five days, three to five weeks, May 23rd. I'm seeing this four, but I'm not feeling, you know, typically the four cups would be four months. Ten weeks is very close to the two two months. The two months would be indicative of see we're going into May. It would be indicative of or very close to around end of cancer season. Like maybe beginning mid July. Okay? So, make a note of those. That's what I'm seeing as far as timing of when both of these offers are going to be presented. When you're going to have a second chance at the second offer. Okay. I just want to say, I wish you would really consider, yeah, for four weeks. Okay, I, we got it. We got it. I mean, seriously, you need to really think about what you're doing. Get your head on. Think clearly. Okay, and we're going to end it with some Minology cards. Okay, show me Virgo, please. Show me Virgo. That is like way too many. Take those two. Okay. They didn't want me to put the cards back. I was going to. They fought with me. Kind of a little bit of a spiritual battle right here. And it says, well, take those two cards. At least. Okay. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Nothing is yet set in stone. There you go. And I feel this, this situation as far as bringing love into it means a love of self. Having a sense of love, a sense of self. And nothing's set in stone yet. Again, it's going back to that energy, that concept saying, you still have time to change your pathways. You have time to change your path, change direction. There's still time. Okay. Well, I am going to end this reading there. I do hope... No! No! Tell me to throw a couple more cards up. Princess of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, knowing your truth and your value. With a new beginning, Six of Swords energy again. 
Ace of Cups energy with the Ace of Pentacles. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, and the fucking lover's card. Fucking serious? They're saying there's another love out there. There is a brand new spanking, spanking, spanking. Is there such a word spanking? Brand spanking new love. Got Ace of Pentacles three fucking times. You know what that says? Got multiple options that are very solid and secure. Better than what you're at. Better than what you have. Non-toxic. True love with the Ace of Cups. The real thing. Not obsession. Not codependency. The real fucking deal. You have an opportunity at the real fucking deal. That's what they're saying. The, lover cor cor the lover's card is a choice and a decision. You got judgment card here twice. You got the justice card here. There is, so, I mean, the universe is screaming at you about making the right decision. Your intuition is screaming at you right now. You need to kind of listen. The tarot reader knows what she's talking about here. Your intuition knows what it's talking about. Okay. Now I'm done. Now I know why. Um, Spirit said, nope, you're not done. Pick up that deck again. Now I know why. They're mapping out what the new opportunity is. There is an out. Okay. I love each and every one of you. And I'm going to leave you here. So, love and light, blessed be.